If you use Blender quite a lot, your render folder probably looks like mine with a bunch of folders that have that have image sequences. These are just outputs of what I render normally and it's just a ton of renders. Blender has different render outputs including video formats like MPEG which includes encodings like MPEG1, MPEG2, MP4, Flash and others. The problem with rendering out a video is that if Blender crashes, whatever you have rendered will be corrupted. If you rendered overnight and Blender crashed before finishing render, all of that will be lost. A safe format would be rendering out an image sequence like PNG, JPEG, Taga or OpenEXR if you want to output more data. The problem with rendering out an image sequence is that there isn't an easy way to preview your previous renders. You can preview your previous render of the current opened project by going under render, view animation, but if your output settings don't match your rendered output, then you will get an error. If you want to preview what you rendered out, you have to make sure that, that the output match. That way you can see the render. If they don't match, even just changing the end frame will will make it impossible to preview your render. You either have to go to your render folder to preview what you have rendered. Now, if your output format was a video format, then that is not a problem. You just open up the project and preview it directly. But if your output is an image sequence, then you might run into this problem. You can't just click an image and preview the entire sequence unless you have this player I'm about to show you. And that is the DJV image sequence reviewer. So DJV provides professional review software for VFX, animation and film production, playback, high resolution, high bit depth image sequences and videos with frame accurate and color management available for Linux, Apple Mac OS and Microsoft Windows. The source code is also provided if you want to check it out. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for anyone who wants a free image sequence viewer for their renders. And the way it works, you just go into any project folder you have, right click any image you have and open it with DJV application. So I'll just use always so that it opens that. And now if I play back, you can see my image sequence now plays. And the amazing thing about this is that I can expand this as I want. And up here, I'll have some icons that can allow me to minimize any sequence that I'm viewing. I can also now load in another image sequence if I want to compare different renders. Let's say I bring in this sequence here. I can just drop one, Im drag one image into this and the entire sequence will be loaded in. I can just move it around, playback, and I can have several playbacks at the same time. The playback is always looped, so it's easy for me to compare different renders. And uh, so I can just slide between these renders I think this is really, really useful and you might already have something like this, but for someone who doesn't, this can be a game changer. Now I can go into my other folders and look for something else to load in. I can make it wider, fill up more room, look for another sequence, load that in, play that. And just, I think this is simply amazing. So if you want an image sequence player, a free image sequence player to preview your renders, I think this can be quite amazing. By the way, all these tutorials are on my channel if you want to check them out and the project files are also on my Gamron page and my Patreon page. By the way, if you own Procedure Crowds, a new version has been released uh, that is called Procedure Crowds Pro. There's a ton of improvements, new animations and uh, just different types of crowd control and uh, different animations. If you want to check it out, links are going to be in the description. There is new randomization, a stadium and a party crowd setting. Uh, just a bunch of new updates that you might be interested in. So check it out. Links are going to be in the description. Another add-on that uh, was released this, this week was the city generator. This is the most realistic city generator I've seen with a ton of details. Yeah, so this just works best of a mesh. You can make the city as wide as you want by just extruding a bunch of faces and you have these parameters that you can use to adjust the building density. Uh, the city also comes with a traffic simulator. So if you want to add some traffic, uh, the add-on also comes with that. You can also have a nighttime setting that lets you switch from a daytime setting to uh, a nighttime scene. So if you want to check all these out, 
links are going to be in the description